Hi guys, happy Friday. You guys are just moments away from spring break. Hopefully you guys will get to do some fun things with your family. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through your guys' test that you're taking today. Hopefully your practice test went well yesterday and um, you guys are ready to take today's test. So just a couple things first. Uh, don't, don't forget, we, I know we remind you guys while we're in school, but don't forget to show your work on your actual test, okay? If there's a multiplication problem, make sure that you guys lay it out, just like how we showed you guys on the board yesterday. Um, so lay out those problems. If you have to draw base 10 blocks to help you, definitely do that stuff, but it's so that we know that you guys are understanding what's being taught. Um, second thing is please put away all temptations that you might have. So whether it's a calculator, whether it's iPads, just go ahead and put them away, guys. We want to make sure that this is your guys' work solely, okay? Don't forget about integrity. That's something that we don't want to lose during this time, okay? Um, and then there's just a couple of problems I want to walk you guys through on the test. So if you guys have your tests with you, please take them out so we can kind of read through them together. Um, the first one I'm going to be going over is number nine, okay? I'm going to read the problem and then explain what's going on in it. So number nine on your test says, Manuel is stocking the store shelves with batteries. He has enough room for three rows of 22 batteries, which is the most reasonable estimate for the total number of batteries. Okay, I know in the problem it says estimate. Don't let that shake you guys up because if you guys do the math correctly, you will actually find the correct number on the test. So when you guys do your multiplication, find that specific number and circle it, okay? Kind of just work over the fact that it says estimate. You guys won't need to be estimating in number nine. All right, jump down to number 11. Number 11 says Mr. Jones stacked books at the library. He had five stacks of 17 books each. We, which is the most reasonable estimate of the total number of books? So it says estimate again in number 11. Now you're gonna do your multiplication problem and you're simply going to find the number that comes closest to your multiplication steps, okay? So if you're gonna be taking 17 and five, you're gonna find the closest number to your product, okay? So go ahead and flip over to the very back page, number 17, 18, 19, and 20. This pertains to the lesson that you guys watched on Monday, the multi-step lessons, okay? So it's taking word problems and breaking them down into simpler problems. So remember, you're gonna be doing more than one step. So whether it's you're gonna be multiplying and then subtracting those two numbers, or you're gonna be multiplying and then adding the two numbers at the end, okay? So it's make, make sure that you guys are reading into much detail exactly what the word problems are saying, okay? So we are super proud of you guys. Don't forget once you are finished with this to take pictures and send it to either Mrs. Beaver, Mrs. Turk, or myself. And then we wanna get those graded for you guys as soon as possible so you guys will see that um, reflected in RunWeb sometime soon, okay? So we're proud of you guys. You guys are doing awesome and uh, we hope to see you guys very soon.